All right, so that last video where we tried to make this bin tubing fail, right? And uh, I've used it before, but here's the real problem with this solution, right? right. <clears throat> so we got dents, dents. Other than that, honestly, the bin, I could have fixed. I could fix that. And that's easy. That's as easy as uh, this is actually the die you're using. I took the paint off of it, and we'll go into why in a minute. But fixing that issue where the tube spreads out is actually just reshaping the die. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that, because I haven't given up yet. I know we said we we're just gonna buy one, right? But uh, just in case, Brandy is at Harbor Freight buying what is it? air over hydraulic ram that we would use on the JD Square, the Woodward Fab, uh, you know, that type, that type of deal. Or we're gonna clean this up. Get that, that's a long, that was just a little tax to measure stuff, right? We're gonna clean that up. We're gonna plasma cut that. We're gonna make it all come together and it's gonna be a die. It came out pretty good, right? And this is gonna be the center hole of our radius. Uh, it's not gonna be that far away. It's gonna be about 5.5 inches. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece, which was that jack, by the way, the part that lifts the car. I figure if it can lift the car, it can bend it too, right? I'm gonna open this up so these slots right there slide in. Okay, so these are my layout lines. I'm gonna cut that out with the plasma. And that's gonna slot in. We'll show you. So that's what happens when uh, you're welding and the power goes out. The, the filler rod. Now it has it's, stu it's stuck in there. Anyway, yeah, that's that's uh, from when we plow. Yeah, you know, like I said, this oh, die doesn't exactly fit. I'm gonna make it exactly fit. I know. It was like that. Okay. See? Yep. Oh man, now I get it. That's the center pivot point. Okay. And this will be the point where it gets pushed. Okay. With the full hydraulic ram. Hydraulic ram. New one. There it is. Anyway. So we're just laying some metal down. Right there. So that we can shape it, like I said. But it's too hot right now. And whenever it's super hot like this and I try to weld, I usually pop a breaker. So we're going to go in the garage and do the other things. Uh. Okay, so we're looking for uh, CLR, center line distance. So from there, that pin, right until where the die is bending the tubing, right? We're about a seven right now. Okay, so here's where we're at. Uh, see that mark right there? Lines up with the, the edge, if you look right there. Right there, there you go. See how it kicks out in the center? Yeah, and then and then back in. So we gotta kick the middle. We gotta bring that middle in a little bit. It's too long right now, that, that distance is too much. That thing's heavy, really heavy. But this thing's rolled down, so anyway. you know how everything goes always takes you longer but we kind of got this in place looks pretty cool I'll plate that in whatever uh, 
nice sturdy pivot point nice sturdy spot to put, hook up the ram which by the way check this out we bought this ram i don't know if i showed you or not this guy uh harbor freight like 120 bucks air over hydraulic it's way longer than we need but the reason we did that is because if this fails we were gonna buy a hyd hydraulic ram anyway right but we could have used a shorter one on here of course but we got that one because if this fails uh well we're gonna just go ahead and pick up a jd squared or a jd squared style bender and we're gonna put that on it because i don't want to crank that thing I've, I've done it before anyway uh that's where we're at i'm gonna tack this thing uh oh here's my uh, measuring device i just kind of tacked that on there right and it touches all the way around so we are in business i'm gonna tack it up and i'll show you what it looks like when we're done okay so we kind of just uh i was gonna tack it but i threw a little bit of weld on it it's a little ugly but you know it's gonna hold up it's uh i'm trying to I'm welding you know some weird materials here those are some gouges from plasma that we're gonna plate this and we'll fill that all in as long as it's strong that's really what we're looking for so far we're looking good okay so here's the deal we've been kind of goofing you pretending like we were going to make a harbor freight uh one of these that we took apart a harbor freight uh pipe bender do you know bend tubing the only truth in that and this is a mess i gotta clean it up the only truth in that is that we're going to use this die right and if that doesn't work out for any reason which actually it's going to but whatever because what's going to happen uh, this is an inch and a half pipe die right which is bigger than an inch and three quarter tubing die so what's going to happen is you know i put a little bit of weld right there i'm going to do that on both sides and then we're going to stick this thing in the mill and we're going to clean that up and the pipe's going to lay in there just like it should i might even build these sides up so it's you know really supported uh but boom and again we bought that ram just in case none of this worked out it will uh especially now brandy scorch brandy found this metal and we will tell you more about this place super awesome people uh here in fresno and this piece here stuff like this all of this has kind of just been coming to us this is going to be our follower i'll show you more about that in a little bit or if you're familiar with followers you know what that is uh air over hydraulic ram yeah i mean that's it we're ready to rip into this
from um, our garage at Dandy Off Road here. Um, and I'm gonna flip you around so you can talk to the fabricator of the family. One second, please. Um, Sir, oh wait, technical difficulty. So what are we doing over here, anyways? Tubing bender. Tubing bender? You're gonna be bending tubing. Yeah. Are we that. making a water slide? Absolutely. Look at this real quick. Though. So uh, bend would start here. Uh huh. Here's like the tubing will be bending. Right. So I gotta open this up a little bit. This is a follower that we're making right now. I, I got some more work to do on it, but it's close enough that I can at least use it for the main. Right, 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 right. That's, that's how it looks like that. So Beautiful. Ooh, so that's where we that. be. Yep, we're gonna open that up a little bit more until it uh, goes right here where it needs to be. Hello! Oh, what do you think about this, bub? He's over it. He said he doesn't care. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, peace out. Be back soon. A lot of things going on. Hi, bub! Hi! Hey. What's up here? So I think, so we're at the point where we're going to start moving this guy around. Right. These are obviously not going to be part of this. Right. We're just trying to move the thing around to get right. an idea. But it's, this would be like a one-to-one -to, -one to this point. We're actually going to have uh, some arms that they are going to come off of here. Big, beefy arms over okay. here. And we'll actually connect to those. Okay. But I'm just trying to get an idea how much stroke it's going to take to move this through a whole cycle. Okay, okay. 